Hello everybody, welcome back to the Jerby Apiary. Well, I was suspicious that things had swarmed and it looks like it did. Back in mid-May, I found swarm cells all throughout my frames on Hive 1. There was larva inside of some of the queen cups that were there and it does look like they had swarmed. There were lots of brood left over. There were drone cells. I, there are at minimum seven queen cups that I counted. Uh, they were all on the bottom of the frames where your swarm type queen cups will be. They tend to put them on the bottom of the frames whenever it's a swarm type queen cup. Emergency queen cells or the super sedor, however you actually pronounce that, tend to be in the middle of the frame and not on the bottom like the swarm cells. So they had prepared to swarm, they did swarm, and we had no queen in this colony, but luckily we had lots of brood. So fast forwarding now to June 7th, and we had the queen cups there. They looked like they were empty. They weren't all completely open or empty queen cups, but you can see the brood pattern, a lot less cat brood. We are running out of fresh young bees. There were still a couple of queen cups that were capped. They weren't all completely open. So there were probably a number of queens that were generated from them and by them. Here's one of the still capped queen cells. Now this is a natural process. That's how the hives are expanded in the wild. The old queen takes off with half the hive and they uh, raise up a new queen. So June 17th, this has been quite a bit of time now. I was looking and looking and hoping we had a queen. Oh, there she is. Nice slowdown here so you can see her a little bit better. So finally, we know we have a queen in here. Now it's the question of, is she a laying queen? And I don't know that at this point. I did get a chance to mark her. It's a lot easier to find them if you mark them. You put a dot on their thorax with a uh, white marking pen. It's white for 2021. I'll do a video in the future describing marking queens and what the different colors mean in some generalities. Now it comes down to, is she going to be a laying queen? So after a new queen emerges, she has to go out, find some male drones and get inseminated by them so that she can lay eggs and get some new larva. Now we're on the 27th of June and yes, we have larva and we have cat brood. So we're gonna be fine. Looks like Hive One's gonna be fine. They have lots of resources already stored up so they have weathered the swarm. I did not see where this swarm went. I really don't know. I kind of missed it, but that's fine. So maybe there's a feral bee colony out there that was early in the spring, and that'd be perfectly fine. And you can definitely see lots of larvae, which is fantastic. So they are going to be rebuilding up their numbers, and that's what we want to see coming into the summer. Really just nice to see this. I was really sweating it for a bit. So the chickens, they're doing great. They're big. I'll do a separate video later on on how they've grown and what they're looking like. Hive two and three, they are ready for some more frames. So this was just the other day. Went and took a look inside. I have the spacer on the bottom of the follower board just for ventilation. And I cracked open the side of the follower board and noticed that they were already drawn out the comb pretty well all the way into the back of the hive. So I thought it's time to add a couple of extra frames into this. They are definitely looking pretty good. They're building up their numbers great. The brood is growing and uh, they, the hive is expanding very well. I did have to reach down and move the stick that I have just to lift that up for ventilation at the for the follower board out a little bit. And throwing in that last frame. Yes, I am wearing shorts with just a bee jacket and some gloves. You kind of get a feel for your bees over time and how they're going to react during a day. And if they're a little bit more defensive, then that's fine. You just kind of back off. Anyways, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And until next time.